back to another episode of the DMV Fishing Dude. This is your your main dude, Tim. Um, hey guys, today um, I actually wanted to uh, well, actually let me rewind back a little bit. Um, I wanted to surprise my mom and dad um, today. You know, normally their um, routine is just stay home, kind of exercise, and um, you know, just pretty much that's what they do. And then. Um, just because of the COVID and everything and of their age and stuff. So, um, you know, they're taking precautions about everything that they do, obviously. So, um, kind of wanted to just surprise them, um, pick them up. Um, I live in Northern Virginia, of course. They live in Maryland. So I picked them up. We went to Delaware. Uh, we went to the Cape Pelican State Park Pier. Um, of course, you know, the spot is running and um, that's one of my, uh, my parents' favorite uh, fish to eat. Um, they're very tasty and um, you know so we went there um, we got some fishing in my dad kicked my butt obviously um, he um, caught more fish than me you know that's a rare occasion as well too so I'm not gonna let it happen again but you know uh, you know he's he's older than me and I gotta 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 help him out a little bit so make him feel a little happy about himself so um, uh, that's what what happened um, definitely was a good uh, it was a good trip um, just kind of for me is just uh, hanging with my mom and dad and um, just um, having them enjoy themselves out there just relax my dad fishing my mom getting some um, you know fresh air at the at the, in the you know the ocean and everything like that so it was pretty cool pretty awesome um, you know um, for me I'm a big guy when it comes to family I'm big on that excuse me and um, just uh, I always have a great time uh, my parents um, I love them to death um, they brought me into the world and um, I'm very fortunate and very lucky so um, enjoy this video um, this is gonna be the first catch and cook as well too so we're gonna do something special with uh, the spot um, you'll see a little bit later in the video so uh, stay tuned and here we go here we go blood roses we're using again guys today you can see my dad has already started <laughs> Nice dad. Good size anyway, right? Yep. Good size. Nice job, dad. Good size, yeah. Mm-hmm. Dad, let me put a worm on this one, okay? Dad, you got another one? Nice, Dad. Good size, right? Yep. Nice. One second, Dad. Oh, this is a big one, Dad. Yeah, I know. There's a heavy door. Yeah. It's a good one. Good size. Okay, one second there. No, no, you dig a You got it there? Two more in the market. You got it there? Two more in the market. You got it there? Okay. Two more Okay, nice. Nice, Dad. Dad, these oh, are, oh, they're big, big size uh, yeah. spot, right, Dad? Yeah. You go all by yourself, right? All right, guys, we're using a uh, high-low wire rig with a one-ounce sinker on the bottom, and we're just tipping them, um, just using one-o uh, octopus hooks with bloodworms, and here's the sinker on the bottom. How about you got another one? Okay, nice.
Nice dad. Okay. Yeah. You okay, mom? Yeah, it's a good size. All of them are good size. All right, daddy, you're good. Hold oh, one second. There you go. Go. Hey guys, we got Aaron and Josie right here. What's up? What's um, up? How you doing? I think they killed it earlier with the spot. Am I right on yeah, that? We, we caught about fifty or so. There you Going go. More shark, but you know, next time. There you go. We have a little more luck. All right. We'll see. <laughs> yeah, they're we here. A good time here in Delaware, though. There you go. There you go. Um, this is Aaron. This is Josie right there, Hi. and they're here in Delaware, and uh, they're slamming as far as I'm, I'm concerned. <laughs> so, all right. Thanks a lot, we'll guys. Trying. Yeah, thanks for having us. All right. Appreciate it. All right. Welcome back. Um, it is the next day, guys. We're ready to do the cook, uh, the cooking, and um, it's gonna be fun. We are gonna make actually fish fried rice. Um, normally, when I catch spot, um, I usually fry pan it and then maybe bake it and then eat it with rice on the side and some other dishes, but. We're gonna try something pretty cool, very easy. Probably is gonna take 10 minutes and anybody can do it from the house. But let me show you what we got going on here. First of all, our main um, core entree is to cut up spot here. Look at that. Um, I didn't wanna show you my filet um, scales because they're a little bit suspect. Yeah, my filleting skills are a little bit suspect. So didn't wanna, um, you know, get some bad comments in the comment section of how my skills are flying. So might have left a lot of meat, but who knows, but oh well. Um, next, we got our onions. Next, we got our green um, green, uh, green onions here. There we go. Next, we got our rice. You know we can't forget our soy sauce, Kiko Man. Next is our um, sesame oil. Next is our pepper. And then, guys, I highly recommend if you're um, when you use salt, this Himalayan uh, pink rock salt. I'm running out, but it is good, definitely good. And of course, some eggs as well too. And we're gonna add a little bit more protein because who doesn't like more protein, right? More meat, right? We're gonna add some shrimp on there too. So stay tuned. We'll get the cooking started. All right, guys, we're gonna start cooking. And um, first, guys. What I'm going to do is, um, actually what I did was, with the shrimp and the fish, I actually uh, cut it up into like really tiny cubes, so um, when you eat it with the fried rice, uh, I think you'll get a little bit more flavor as well too. So uh, we did that basically, and then we're going to first cook this, and I'll show you what we're going to do with this, okay? Uh, two things, okay? You're going to need a nice extra pan, and you're gonna need like a fried rice pan like this so that um, it'll come, come in handy a little bit later. So let's turn the heat on. And then we're gonna just put a little bit of um, olive oil, just a little dab um, around. There we go, enough to cover the pan. Um, I'm not a guy that does good measurements with like teaspoons, tablespoons, you know, just you know, sometimes you just know how much you, you'll need basically. So do that. We'll make sure it gets a little bit hot here. Yeah, and I'm using, I'm, my heat is probably like um, medium to high right now. So um, you're not gonna cook this for too long. You're gonna probably cook it for maybe, um, it's gonna take probably two or three minutes because of how small each uh, piece of meat is basically, so. Go ahead and we'll put the shrimp in there. And then we'll go ahead and put the fish in there too. So do it like that. Let's get something to kind of stir this around here. And I don't know if you guys can hear that sizzling already, so it's gonna it's not gonna take too long. And guys 
while you're doing this, um, don't season it because I'm going to be seasoning this when I put everything together basically. So um, if you season it now and then season it later, it may, it may get a little bit um, salty. So just keep that, keep that in mind. Next guys, we're going to go ahead and um, start with the eggs basically. We're going to cut it in there. Um, just be careful with the shells. I already have one shell in there, which is uh, not good. But I'm going to go ahead and take that out right away. It's just one piece of shell. Let me just get that fork. And there we go. All right, guys. And then with this, you're just going to mix it here. So it turns into that golden and yellow um, fluid mixture, I guess. Okay. That looks good, doesn't it? All right, we're gonna do that. Next, we're gonna come on over here. We're gonna put that plate right there. We have the um, fried rice pan here. It's already, uh, the stove is on. Um, we're gonna do the same thing here. We're gonna go ahead, put a little drizzle some olive oil here. And then we're gonna go ahead and put the egg in here. Move that around. Let's start doing this here. And guys, what you guys want to do with this uh, egg is you want to cook it halfway, halfway, because the rest, when you put the rice in there, the meat, the onions, it's gonna all come together and all. You know, wanna um, you don't want to cook it, overcook it, because it's not gonna be too good then, basically. like it's halfway cooked guys this is the next important thing here okay when you put your rice in here do not put warm or hot rice in there because it's gonna make it very sticky and very um it, i don't know it's just it, it, it won't taste as good so you want to make sure you want to put cold rice in here or at least room temperature okay so that's very key and important with fried rice we're gonna put that in there Start mixing it now. So, there we go. And what we're gonna do is just gonna put a little bit more olive oil in here. There we go. Just a little drizzle. There we go, guys. Start cooking it this way. And you're just kind of breaking up the rice here and then just mixing it with the uh, eggs here. Guys, this is where you want to go ahead and start um, putting your your um, ingredients. Basically, you're gonna go ahead, put a little bit of salt. Excuse me, pepper first. There we go. Now we got the Himalayan salt that I was telling you guys about. It's so good. There we go. We'll save the sesame oil and the, uh, the soy um, soy sauce after we put the meat in there and we'll put all those together. Alright, let's put the meat in here now. Alright, mix that together there. So it's looking good guys, it's already looking very good. Okay, now we're going to go ahead for sesame oil. And now we're going to put our soy sauce. And guys, depending on how much, you can put more soy sauce, you can put a little bit less. 
is entirely up to you. There's no um, scientific method of how much you need to put. It's up to your own tasting. So if you like soy sauce, hey, throw that bad boy in there. If you like a little bit, just put a little bit in there. We're gonna go ahead and mix that here. Guys, when I when I was telling you men, um, in the beginning of the video, why to use like a fried rice pan like this, you get more movement, or you can you know move the everything together, so it's a lot easier um, you, instead of instead of using a regular pan. So just keep that in mind; it'll come in handy very well. bit off go. And guys lastly let's put our um, green onions and just chopped up onions here they, they're gonna pick pretty quickly so And now you're just gonna let it rest for a few minutes, okay? Take a look at that, guys. What do you guys think? This should be the final product of the fried rice. Um, you know, I'm trying to get some uh, presentation points here. Hopefully, that looks nice. There you go. And then basically, I just eat it with a side of a uh, Korean traditional side dish, which is kimchi, which is a uh, spicy um, cabbage, and it's really good. So if you haven't had a chance, try that. But that's how it should be, and let's see how it tastes. Guys, last thing, let's take a bite and let's see how it tastes. Um, you know, let's get a, I'm gonna get a little spoonful with a little bit of the kimchi on here, and um, there you go. That's what it is, and let's see what happens. It's really good. It really is. You guys definitely need to give it a try. Restaurant quality, maybe. We'll see what happens. Um, guys, I'm not no, I'm not an expert when it comes to cooking, but I try different things, and hey, if it's good, it's good. Um. I've made this in the past and um, my family loves it and my friends, my neighbors too. So um, I just kept on cooking it. So um, this shows you how easy it is. It, once again, took the whole process took 10 minutes. Uh, make sure to get yourself some fresh fish, uh, shrimp. Um, you can add some other stuff in there too if you want to make like a seafood one too with like octopus, uh, squid, and um, shrimp, oysters, whatever. But um, Use your imagination. Use, um, you know, do what you want to do, and you never know what it'll come out to. But, um, guys, thanks again for the love and support. And um, just, um, if you like this uh, video, make sure to hit that like button. And if you, have, if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe. I'll talk to you guys soon, and uh, another fishing adventure will be coming up shortly. Take care.